Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another edition of Two Scoop News, and it seems like the U.S. troops in Afghanistan will not be coming back anytime soon. President Barack Obama announced that U.S. troops will remain in Afghanistan for the remainder of 2016 at their current levels. Yet another delay in their scheduled withdrawal and an acknowledgement that America's longest war will not be concluded on Obama's watch. Obama campaigned as the president who would end two wars. Thursday's announcement was, for many, a political reversal on that promise. Taliban gains in Afghanistan and appeals from Kabul for ongoing U.S. assistance contributed to the postponing of the troop withdrawal and underscored Obama's continuing difficulty in his intention to remove all American forces from Afghanistan by the time he leaves office. On Thursday, however, he told reporters at the White House that he was not disappointed in making the announcement. Instead, he said his job was to make necessary adjustments given events on the ground. He also stressed that the formal combat there has ended and that he's a president who does not support endless war. For instance, he ended the Iraq war and removed American troops there in 2011. The plan announced Thursday keeps 9,800 US troops in Afghanistan before an anticipated drawdown to about 5,500 by the time Obama leaves office. The troops mission will remain the same, to train and support Afghan security forces and to carry out counterterrorism operations. Yes, friends, the troops are not coming back so soon. All right, Obama went back on his word. But of course, we know that no one is perfect and things happen that are beyond our control. But does God go back on his word? Well, in the book of Isaiah 55 verse 11, God says, So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I send it. Well, there you go, friends. God will not go back on his word. It will accomplish whatever he wants to when he sends it out. His word is powerful. It created the heavens and the earth. So when God says something, it will happen. Like when he told Abraham and Sarah they would have a child. It happened. So stay encouraged, friends, trusting God's word, knowing that he will fulfill his promises. Well, that's it, guys. I'm Shane Matters for Two Scoop News, where you get your two scoops of your daily news. Please like this video as it does help out a lot. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And as always, thanks for watching and God bless.